Okay, in this one, um, what I want to have a do is look at Hess's law. <coughs> I have a very weird way of looking at Hess's law. Um, and to be honest, a lot of my students actually quite like the way I, I, I look at Hess's law. So, we'll jump straight into it. What you're asked is you need to work out the enthalpy of combustion, so the energy when, sorry, um, the enthalpy change for the following, not combustion, uh, you want to see um, ethene, you know, add hydrogen gas to it, and you're going to make ethane, C2, H6. Okay, what it tells you is, <coughs> the enthalpy change of combustion, right, which is the funny sign, delta H, the delta means change, standard combustion, uh, your, the burning of ethene, this will release uh, 1,411 kilojoules per mole of energy. Um, you've got the same data for hydrogen. So the combustion of hydrogen will form, or release 280, will form, that's a terrible thing to say, will convert 286 kilojoules of <coughs> energy to heat. And you've got the combustion of ethane. <coughs> now, I'm just going to do it and explain, try to explain what goes on in my head. Well, what I look at is the fact that, and I'm going to change colour, I need to get to this product here. And what I can do is burn. I can burn because it's combustion and form. What am I going to form? I'm going to form... <coughs> Two molecules of carbon dioxide, and I'm going to form and we've got six. We've got six <coughs> hydrogen atoms. There's six hydrogen atoms. We're actually going to form three water molecules. So what have we got here? So I'm going to have three water molecules plus two molecules of carbon dioxide. I'm not interested in the full equations. What I know is that if I burn methane, so if I go for so ethane from here to here, this will release 1560 kilojoules per mole of energy. If I burn ethene, this will release minus 1411 kilojoules of energy. I'm burning hydrogen. Actually, that's really good to water. And <clears throat> burning hydrogen will give me per mole. Uh, what have we got? Minus 286. So the way I look at it is, I'm going to, if I go from, to burn both ethene and hydrogen, I would go 1411. I don't consider the signs 286. I'd add them together. 7, 9, 6, 1. And that's going from now, it's changed quite uh, to crazy green. That goes from here to here. And what I want to do is, I will now go from there to there. So I take my minus 1697, and I add on to it <coughs> 1564. In other words, and to be honest, I do it a different way. I think, well, I've got 1697, right, going around to form water and I want to know the difference this my answer is going to be negative because this is bigger than 1560 so I just take them away 7 take away nothing 7 9 take away 6 3 6 take away 5 1 wonderful. so what I've got is minus 137 kilojoules per mole so what I look at is the fact that this number here, my top number, <coughs> is much bigger a negative number than my bottom number. I'm going to end up with a negative number. And irrelevant to which direction I go in, as Hess said, it doesn't matter if I go from this way to this way, or from my direction that they've asked for, my energy change will be the same. Okay, I'll rush through that. If at any point you want to slow it down and listen, slow it down and listen. <coughs> 